Review's cloud-based collaboration solution, Bluebeam Studio, enables you to work digitally and concurrently with project partners on the same documents. Included in Review, Studio allows you to securely manage projects digitally from start to finish, anywhere, at any time. Studio is made up of two components, projects for hosting files and folders in the cloud, and sessions for real-time collaboration. In this video, we'll be talking about Studio Projects. When you host your project documents in Studio Projects, your team members and project partners can access those documents when needed, even offline. With Projects, you can store any file type, set different permissions to different users or groups, and check files out to a Studio session for real-time collaboration. And as a licensed review user, you can invite project partners to access and collaborate in Studio even if they don't own a license of review. All they need to do is download VIEW, our free PDF viewer, on their PC or iPad and join the project you invite them to. Then they'll be able to access all the features of Studio within that project, at no cost. To learn more about VIEW, check out our website. To access Studio Projects and Sessions, click Tab Access and select Studio, or click this icon. When you access Studio for the very first time, you'll be prompted to create a login. I've already created one, so I'll type that in here. Click here to tell Review to remember your password. Once you're logged in, you can start or join either a session or project right away. The panel is separated into two parts so that you can quickly identify the projects and sessions that you have hosted or attended. I've already started a project, so let's jump right in. I uploaded this Valley College project by right-clicking and uploading the entire project folder from my computer. You can also create folders within the project and upload individual files. When you upload a folder like I did here, Review will maintain the folder structure, which means all the hyperlinks between files will work perfectly. Also, you can store any file type in projects, not just PDFs. Just note that you'll need the appropriate software installed on your computer in order to open those file types. To invite others to access your project, click this button and type in their email addresses. If you'd like to restrict who has access to view or check out files in a project, you can adjust the permissions in the project settings. You can also restrict access to the project as a whole under user access. If you keep this box checked, then only the users you list here can access the project. If you've invited attendees, they'll be automatically listed as allowed users, so you won't need to type them in again. To open a file as read-only, simply double-click on it. To check out a file to mark up or edit it, right-click it and select Check Out. While you have a file checked out, Others can view the file, but they will not be able to edit it until you check it back in, which you can do from the Document tab, under Pending Changes, or from here in the project. Here you can add any comments you'd like to describe the edits you made to the document. If you checked out a file that isn't a PDF, Click Save and close it before you check it back in. When you check any file back in, the file's revision history will be updated. Right-click a file to view its revision history. You can even view a previous version to see how the document appeared before the changes were made by a user. You also have the ability to revert back to an older version of a file if you need to. 
This will be listed as a new revision in the revision history, so everything is recorded and no data is accidentally lost. Now let's say you have to review some files out on the job site, but you don't have wireless access there. With offline mode, you can check out the files you need ahead of time before heading out to the field. While still connected to the internet, select the files you want to sync to your computer, check them out, then simply disconnect from the internet or select the option to work offline. Now these documents are on your computer, available for you to work on, and they will appear as read-only for other users. Once you're back in the office or otherwise regain internet access, check those documents right back in. If you forget to check out a file before going offline, you do have the option to edit offline. However, we definitely recommend checking out the file ahead of time to reduce any sort of overlap of information. If you'd like to work with multiple people at the same time on a PDF from your project, you can check a file out directly to Studio Sessions. Right-click a PDF in your project and select Add to New Session. Now the file will show a session icon to indicate that it's open in a session. When you finish the session, make sure to select Overwrite Existing Files. Then check it back into the project. To see a list of the files currently checked out in a particular project, Right-click the project name and select Checkout Review. When you're finished with your project, or at any time during the project, you can download a copy of the files and folders locally to your machine or to a shared server, and all the changes that were made up to that point will be copied down. Note that only the latest revision of each file will be saved. The revision history will not be saved. If you'd like to completely finish a project and remove its contents from the Bluebeam servers, go back to your home page, right-click the project, and select Delete. This cannot be undone, so proceed only if completely necessary. If you'd like, you can opt in or out of receiving email notifications when documents are added, removed, or edited. Go to the Project Settings and click Manage Notifications or from your studio home, right-click the project and select Manage Notifications. Here you can adjust your notifications for the selected project or adjust your account preferences as a whole. Click here to manage the notifications for other individual projects or sessions. By default, notifications are turned on for sessions and projects you are hosting. You can also opt in to receiving a daily email that includes all studio activity for any projects or sessions you're subscribed to. And that's it. We went over the basics of Studio Projects, a tool for hosting files and folders in the cloud and sharing them with team members and project partners.